what's up fish tank tv this is probably fish tank and uh, today i will make a very very special video um but first of all i'm first going to tell you guys who is the contest winner the contest winner is pure for kicks he's tell us right here and um, he makes awesome videos um he has videos on his fry um and he has um some um and he has some videos on his cichlids and he has a lot of uh, cool tanks and um, yeah he also has a really cute dog <laughs> that is sometimes in his videos I've noticed so um, great guy go check him out um, you'll enjoy his channel go and subscribe to him um, although this special topic as you can hear I'm pretty damn sick uh, I have a flu I um, kind of have fever and I have a cold so it's very very annoying I have a hard time sitting up like this and talking to you guys but I guess I just wanted to make this video because I haven't made a video in five days and I think that is stupid but now uh, you guys know the reason <laughs> so um, I have also been on some school uh, school um, colonies and stuff like that so yeah and uh, by the way my uh, Siamese algae eaters is really growing great um, let me see if I can find the other one. He's somewhere. Um, once I did a water change, he was stuck um, in the leaves. Uh, not in the leaves, but in the filter, um, which was really weird. I didn't know how he got in there, but I got him out again, and he's still doing great. But that was weeks ago, but um, maybe he's stuck in there again. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to see if I can find him, actually, because it kind of bothers me. Uh, where are you, man? Come on, Sammy algae eater, don't hide from me. I can't find him right now. He's probably underneath the driftwood somewhere. But um, so let's get to the topic. Um, and my brain is just so messed up right now. But <laughs> um, basically, I guess I wanted to talk about what to do with your aquariums when you're sick. Uh, because you know when you're sick you don't really have anything to do you lay in your bed or sit at the computer just sitting and watching videos and stuff like that um, and uh, I guess I just wanted a video to sh uh, tell you guys to do a little bit of maintenance on your tanks when you're sick if you can I'm not saying you should but if you can go out watch your, wash your hands um, because you know if you have a flu if you have cold you are probably going to get some of your you know, um, <laughs> I don't know what it's called in English, but let's just call it nose slime. So uh, when you get nose slime on your hands, um, you can um, release a, some bad stuff into your water, which you of course don't want to. I don't know if it's going to be harmful, but you know, hey, do it for security reasons. But um, what I thought of doing was cutting some of my plants um, later. Um, to kind of give it all um, a good uh, sort of look and um, you know just try to um, to make it look beautiful again replanting some plants um, stuff like that so that is a thing I could recommend for all of you guys if you want to go uh, do some maintenance on your tank for example cutting plants um, checking out the fish just sitting um, even if you have a bed close to the aquarium like I have, you can just sit in your bed or lay down in your bed and look at your aquariums because it is really something that I enjoy because um, sometimes there's really nothing in TV. So um, so do some maintenance in your tanks if you can, like maybe uh, cut some plants or replant some plants, um, feed the fish and uh, yeah, just remember to dose fertilizers and whatever. Um, that that is really what I could recommend, but uh, I think it's a too big of um, sort of task to uh, do a water change. So I wouldn't put that into the list because um, you know you don't really feel like if you have a really annoying headache um, and you have flu and fever and stuff like that, you get up and do uh, the water changes on your aquarium. You may stop when you just have changed all of the water and you haven't put any new water in. Uh, of course, which is not good. Um, so, do some maintenance on your tanks, guys, if you want to, if you're bored. It was just a little thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, because, um, you know, 
why not um, have fun with your fish when uh, you can't watch anything in seaweed and stuff like that. So, um, also, I want to announce something coming up um, on 200 subs. I'm going to do um, a giveaway, um, and the giveaway is going to be on. Oh Jesus Christ, the world is going crazy, but the giveaway is going to be on plants. Um, but I don't know is, if it's going to be Europe only. I'm sorry for all of you guys in the US because I know there's a lot of people on Fish Chain TV. Um, or well, almost all on Fish Chain TV is from US and. Uh, but I know a lot of people from UK who have subscribed to me, so I hope they can get some benefit of this. But uh, maybe it's outside um, the, 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 the Europe uh, region, but I'll find out about that. But uh, I'll be giving away plants. And uh, wh which plants I'm going to give away is um, my Hygrophila polysperma. You can see the tips of this. I'll cut some stems off of this. Um, also some green stems, so you can uh, get some brownish on them yourself. Um, and uh, then you can basically just, you know, um, chill with those. Um, you'll get beautiful brown leaves like that. Looks really, really awesome. Uh, will create a really cool effect to your aquarium. I will also give away a few couple of Cryptochora and Belize, um Because those are just cool plants. I will also give away this plant that you see right here. I actually don't know what plant it is. I've tried to research meanwhile here was where I was sick. Um, I had it in my old better tank, um, and it's basically uh, well, it's um, it looks like some sort of Ludwigia, or maybe it's some type of some type of Bacoba. I don't really know. It it has like these really wide leaves, which um, looks really funny. My disc is just chilling there. Oh my god, he's so healthy. He's just enjoying this tank. He's really... I mean, he's a really healthy discus. Um, I don't know if there's any more healthy discus than him. He's really, really healthy. He's just enjoying it. But he don't like the other discus. So soon I'm going to get um, maybe an angelfish and a discus or two angelfish uh, to this tank when I'm, get ready, when I'm getting rid of my compressor steps and trying to get him over in the African cigar tank again. If not, I'm going to see if I can give him to a way to a pet store. So, um, anyway, back to the giveaway. I might also give away um, some Bacoba Australis. I know that there's a lot of people who want this. I'm going to give you a few stems of these um, beautiful, beautiful plants. Uh, will really get 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 a really nice carpet to your aquarium if you know what to do. I'll maybe wa make a video on that when I get a carpet of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're sick, um, like I am, uh, or is sick at some point, and uh, hope you, yeah, just generally enjoyed the video. So, see you guys in another video.